In this video, you will learn how to insert and edit markers in scatterplot using Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here, I have inserted a scatterplot which contain two set of markers. First set of markers represents the data series 1 and second set of markers represents the data series 2. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Now we will learn how to edit these markers. Firstly, select any data series. If you have a single data series, then if you click on any markers, then all markers will be selected. But if you have multiple data series, then only one data series will be selected. Currently, you can see here I have click on this marker and one data series is only selected, which is data series 2. And if I click on these markers, then only data series 1 will be selected. So to edit these series, you will select one series and edit it then you will select second series and edit it so assume that we want to edit the data series to so you can see here all data series is selected now i will right click here you will find the option of format data series and go to fill and line option and here there are two options. First one is line and second one is marker. Click on marker option. Then again, there are multiple options appeared. First one is marker option. We will explore this one. Now Excel has many inbuilt markers. You can select it built in. And in type, you can select any one. For example, if I select this one, then the shape of marker will be changed. You can adjust the size using this option. I will increase its size so it is more visible to you. Now, if you want to change the type, I will select this one. Now it is more visible to you. The shape is changed now. Then again, if I click this one, then shape will be changed. Similarly, I have already explained that by doing so you can change or edit the markers for one data series if you want to edit the markers of remaining data series you will click on it and from here you can change the shape using this option for example i want to change it to this this sign i can increase it size using this option so if you don't want to use these inbuilt options there is another option which is the picture option you can insert any picture for example here there is a different option from a file if you have already downloaded picture you can use this option or you can search for stock images or online pictures or from icon i have already uh, downloaded a picture i will select this one go to desktop i have uh, save it on desktop and i will select that picture click on insert now you can see here apple is inserted because i have saved this picture i will not recommend to use this option instead of this there is a useful option in fill option because if you use this option then it will insert large images so i will not recommend this option now there is multiple options appeared in fill if you select no fill you can see here no fill up uh, no color appeared here if you select no fill the result is visible to you you can select solid fill and you can change the color from this if you change this similarly you can select green color here there is a useful option of transparency you can adjust the transparency either 0% to 100% now there is the option of gradient fill click here and you can select the gradient if you scroll down there are multiple options for example you can adjust these stops and adjust their color for example i will select this one and i change this color to green select second stop and select its color to yellow 
third one and select it color to purple now you can see here gradients option appeared here similarly there is the option of pattern fill you can select this one and select any pattern even you can change the color of these patterns you can even change the background of these patterns now there is a option of picture or texture fill it is a useful option previously you can see here if when we inserted the picture uh, it will not correctly displayed or plotted here now you can use this option for example if i want to insert a picture i will go to this picture source there is the option of insert click here and different options appeared here either you want to insert a picture from a file or using stock images or online pictures or from icon i have already saved a file so i will go to from a file option now go to desktop option and i will select a picture which i have already downloaded click on download click on insert and you can see here i have downloaded a flag and it is plotted on scatter plot similarly if you want to insert a pic uh, picture of apple go to insert select from a file and here i will select the apple click on insert you can see here the excel has plotted apples on scatter plot similarly you can select second data series and insert the picture of your desire now you can see here a border appeared around it how to remove this border if you scroll down you will find the option of border if you select no line then this border will be disappeared sorry i have not selected this data series i will firstly select this one now go to border option and if i select no line this line will be disappeared for example click on it now you can see here the line disappeared if you want to insert a border and go to this border option and select solid line a solid line will be appeared around your marker you can even change the color of this line for example currently you can see here its color is blue i will select this data series and go to border option and i want to change its color to green so i will select green now if you click here you can see here its color is changed to green now i will again select it go to fill and line option and in marker go to border option and explore other option for example you can see here you can even the width of this line the compound type for example if you want to insert a dashed line then instead of solid line dashed line will be appeared here you can see here dotted line appeared here you can even generate your own picture and insert it here for example i want to insert a picture i will go to insert option and from here i will select illustrations i will select a shape and from here i will select any shape for example i will choose this one now copy this image and i will paste it here as picture now i will again copy it now i want to insert or plot this image in scatter plot i will select this data series where i want to insert this i will go to fill and line option and here i will find the option of marker go to fill option of marker and from here i will select picture or texture fill in picture or texture fill you will find two option either to insert picture source or clipboard if you insert clipboard then uh, the image you have copied will be displayed here for example i will click on clipboard 
you can see here this image displayed here because I have copied this image. Similarly, if I go to PowerPoint and I want to insert a symbol in my scatter plot, go to this insert and I want to insert a symbol, I will go to symbol option and I want to insert uh, this symbol. You can choose anyone according to your desire. I will click on insert, click on close, select this image, copy this and paste it as picture. Now again, copy this and from here I want to select this data series, second data series and from here I will select picture or texture fill and I will select clipboard. Now you can see here the image from Microsoft PowerPoint which I have selected is inserted here. You can go to marker option and even change the their size using this option. So by doing so you can easily insert and edit markers in Microsoft in PowerPoint. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.